surprise. Didn't see you there. Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, it's me, Pinna Palmer, and I am back with another hair tutorial for you. A vintage one. I know, we're going back a little bit. We're sending you back to the future. And if you are new to this channel, hi. I'm Pinna Palmer, and I like everything pink and spooky, if you haven't already noticed. I'm so happy you guys are here at this channel, and we're about to learn a new hair tutorial today. Ah! Oh, I just can't wait. I could spit. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but do you notice something different with my hair? I got a trim. <laughs> yes, I got a big swirl in my hair, because you know what? It's quarantine, and... We're getting desperate out here, guys. I'm actually not sure what this hairstyle is called, but you've seen it on many people like Gwen Stefani to Gwen Stefani, uh, Gwen Stefani. This specific hairstyle did not really exist in the 1950s and 60s. It was more of a poodle or some kind of curl creation, but this type of roll really wasn't a thing. We had victory rolls, which is two things that was in back of the 1940s. This isn't quite it. And I wanted to show you guys it with a cute little curly ponytail just to go with it and a hair flower and kind of a tiki theme today because it is getting hot up in California, guys. Let me tell you, it's hot. Flames on the side of my face. So let's get you the tools that you will need to achieve this. Look. First, you'll need some kind of curling device, either a curling iron, rollers, hot sticks, whatever you prefer. And of course, your favorite hairspray. Mine is Kenra. A bunch of bobby pins and duckbill pins. A teasing comb. Mine is the hair shark. Any kind of paddle brush or brush. Your favorite type of hair tie. And if you want, some hair flowers. And that's it. All right, I hope you guys have all the tools you'll need to achieve this little rockabilly hairstyle. So I'm gonna go back in time. Back to the future. And I'm just gonna put rollers in my hair. It doesn't matter what the type, and I'm gonna show you how I curled my hair up here. Let's get into it, shall we? Bam, boom! Okay, so during this time, I just want you guys to curl your hair. I just decided to put in some hot rollers because it's easy and I don't care. There's no rhyme or reason to it. Just curl your hair. Curl your Anyway, but the only thing that I didn't curl is this right here, which will be our roll. And my hair piled high up on my head. Good brush. <laughs> so you want to separate your hair like so, okay? So it's kind of like doing like a weird oval slash like horseshoe kind of thing, all right? So now what you're going to want to do, you're actually going to want to curl this a very certain way. So I'm going to separate the hair and I just want you guys to curl your hair all the same way, okay? Take a chunk about this big and you're going to roll it the direction that you guys kind of want. So I'm going to take my curling iron. When you are curling your hair, either go to the left or right, whatever direction you want your hair roll to go. Okay. So when you let it go, it should look something like this and pin it in place just to get it out of there. And then you're going to do the same thing to the rest of the hair. So sometimes with this style, the direction that you curl your hair ends up actually being the opposite direction your roll will go. It just depends on how you curl it or how well you curl it and what your hair is doing that day. Okay, so I just finished curling it. I'm going to let it all kind of hang down. Get all my hair. <laughs> Once you guys are done curling, I want you guys to take your teasing comb. I am using, again, the hair shark. Try to get as much volume as you can towards your crown. You're going to want this thing piled pretty high and it's going to look ridiculous. But the more volume you have, the more better the roll will look. You don't want a flat bun on your head. Stunning. Now that your hair looks like a bird's nest, seven. 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 So now you're going to carefully smooth out all your teasing and, <laughs> oh my goodness, I look like the bride of Frankenstein that went to the hair salon and they put the streaks in the wrong place. <sighs> So back to teasing. Okay, you're gonna gently smooth out the top of your hair, but do not lose that volume. And slowly start taking your fingers and working that bun in. You're gonna wanna take the ends of your hair and twist it inwards towards your face for your roll, not outwards or not down. Right. And at this point, you guys do not worry about it being perfect. You're just kinda wanting to see where your roll is going, how much height you get, and then you can always tame it back later. And take a couple bobby pins and pin it in place. Okay, so once you kind of got the bun kind of going in the kind of direction that I want, it's kind of a pain in the butt, guys. You're gonna have to like finagle it a bit to get like the right kind of swirl to go with it and manipulate the hair. Kind of finagle it, see how I'm kind of like manipulating the hair a little bit. I'm gonna start pinning it in certain spots and don't worry about 
Like if it looks cruddy in the middle, we'll fix that later as long as we have a better hole is kind of what we're going for. Look at that hole. So during this time, you guys, you are going to want to take your bobby pins and pin your bun in place so it's nice and secure. Make sure you cannot see the bobby pins. If you have palmate, this is a good time to smooth all those wiry hairs that are sticking out to kind of clean up your swirl a little bit. I don't have any, so I'm just using my teasing comb and hairspray to lock it in place until I am happy with the way it looks. Okay, so once you got your swirl on, take down your curls that are ready to be just put up in a ponytail. So go ahead and tease the crap out of the back of this. Now take all your hair, and I like to Take my comb. I like to go pretty high with my ponytail. Ow, what the f uh, Jesus Christ. Once you're done smoothing the edges and getting the height that you want, go ahead and grab a hair tie. Tie, what you mean tie? And put it in a ponytail. So once you got your hair up in a ponytail, I'm actually gonna go back in the teasing. I'm gonna go and hit as much volume as I can. This teasing honestly is for personal preference. The next couple things I'm going to do is just create more volume and then under tease all the curls that I have. That's all I'm really doing guys, but this is personal preference. If you guys wanna keep it really curly, then I suggest curling your hair a little bit more tighter without rollers. Or if you wanna do it like a straight ponytail or put it up in a bun, it's totally up to you. Once you're comfortable with the way it looks, go ahead and get your handy dandy hairspray and spray it all over to lock everything in place. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take a big old flower and stick her right in here for a little accent since we're kind of tiki themed today. Bonsoir, mes amis. <laughs> and once again, you guys, these hair flowers, Michaels, Michaels, Michaels. And you know what? Let's throw on some earrings. Ah, okay. I think we are done here. Yeah, it's a really fun hairstyle. It's perfect for like tiki summer stuff. It gets the hair out of your face. It's so fun. Man, this is making me want a Mai Tai right now. But here is the final look for you guys. Here is my rockabilly hairstyle that I did for you. Hope you guys like it so much. Leave a comment down below if you guys want me to do something else for my next hair tutorial because I am always reading your comments, even the bad ones, you jerks. <laughs> and if you guys did like this hair tutorial, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, click on the bell to notify yourself that I just uploaded a video. And if you guys would like to find me on Instagram, I post all the time over there at Pinna Palmer Instagram for some good, fun horror stuff and pinup stuff and funny stuff because really I just like posting all the time there. My stories are kind of like my little movies. Sure, Jan. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I am wearing eye contacts and I will have a little video for you guys this week about me wearing these contacts and a couple other ones with a code to go with it. So I will be uploading a quick, quick, quick little video because I will be doing more monster looks or character looks as time goes on. So, but anyways, you guys, I am Pitta Palmer and remember to always keep it pink, keep it spooky, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>